Hey guys lovers and welcome back to another video. Moving is a stressful time for everyone, but especially your cat. Cats are creatures of habit and they rely on routines and structure. Moving is the opposite. It is hectic and disorienting. Naturally, cats tend to strongly dislike moving. However, there are things you can do to ease your cat's anxiety and make the whole process a lot easier for both of you. Just to be clear, this is not medical advice. However, it is intended to be a helpful guide. If you enjoyed this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's discuss 10 tips for moving with a cat to reduce stress and prioritize comfort. Number one, prepare your cat for the move. You should start preparing to move with your cat long before moving day arrives. During the move, your cat will need to spend a lot of time in the cat carrier. This can be uncomfortable for cats, so it's important to get your feline friend familiar with the carrier ahead of time. A few weeks before your move, set the carrier up in the main part of your current residence. The goal is to get your cat to associate positive feelings with the carrier rather than anxious, restless feelings. Put your cat's favorite things in or near the carrier, such as blankets, toys, or treats, to make it a safe space. After a few days, feed your cat at the carrier opening, then day by day move the food deeper into the carrier. As the moving day gets closer, try shutting the door then immediately unlatch it and give it a treat. Eventually, try moving the carrier with your cat in it to and from the car. Then you can gradually work towards taking a drive around the block. As you have probably gathered by now, baby steps are key. Number 2. Update your cat's information. Moving tends to make cats more of a flight risk than usual. Since cats are on edge and nervous, they are more likely to bolt if they get an opportunity to do so. It is a cat's natural instinct to hide and seek safety. If they are in an unfamiliar environment like a car, plane, hotel, or even your new home, your cat may be prone to running away. While you should do as much as you can to prevent your cat from running away, you should also be prepared if your cat does manage to escape. Update your cat's information to make sure it can be found and reunited with you if it runs away. Make sure your cat's caller ID tag at least has your phone number. Ensure that it is not too loose and is secure. Additionally, visit your veterinarian to learn more about microchips. Microchipping your cat can be one of the best ways to ensure your feline friend doesn't get lost if it runs away. By updating your cat's information and getting it microchipped, you can be prepared if the worst is to happen. If your cat is microchipped, you could also put the word microchipped under your phone number on the name tag. Number three, pack accordingly. You need to prepare the carrier and bring enough supplies to keep your cat comfortable during the move. As such, you should bring enough food and litter supplies. Disposable litter boxes and pee pads are available and recommended. Traveling is a very uncomfortable experience for cats, so it is important to ensure all the basic needs are met to reduce anxiety. If your cat is particularly anxious, it is a good idea to visit your veterinarian to talk about anxiety or sleep medications. Sleep medications can be especially useful if you are traveling by plane or can't let your cat out of the carrier for an extended duration of time. If you think medication may be beneficial for your cat, consult your vet to get more information. Number four, plan around your cat. When you are making travel plans to move from your old to new place, consider your cat's needs. Depending on the duration of travel, there are different things you'll need to do to ensure your cat is comfortable and well taken care of. If you need to spend the night in a hotel, make sure that you find a suitable, pet-friendly hotel beforehand. If you need to fly, make sure you get all your cat's paperwork and medical records. If you are traveling by car for an extended period, make sure to schedule stops to let your cat roam around the car. Do not drive while your cat is not securely in the carrier. Consider bringing a harness and leash if your cat is harness trained to let your cat walk around outside. However, it is crucial to secure your cat before opening any doors or windows. As mentioned earlier, cats are particularly jumpy and on edge during a move so they are more prone to running away. It is incredibly important to make sure that your cat is secure and doesn't have the opportunity to slip away while you aren't watching. Number five, keep your cat calm. Keep your cat's environment peaceful and calm during travel. Try to keep it quiet and comfortable with soft things like blankets and toys. Cats also enjoy darkness. Try draping a lightweight blanket over the top of the carrier to obscure any light from outside. This will give your cat a comfortable amount of darkness, and it will reduce overstimulating outside visuals. Just make sure the blanket isn't too heavy so it doesn't obstruct your cat's airflow. If your veterinarian prescribed your cat sleeping pills or anxiety medication, give them to your cat about an hour before you leave with a small amount of food. Before, during, and after the move, try to stick to your cat's old routine as much as possible, including feeding and playing times. The goal is to try to maintain as much normalcy as possible. Number 6. Don't open the carrier unless necessary. 
In almost all cases, you should keep your cat in its carrier for the entirety of the moving process. Even if your cat is seemingly restless and scratching at the carrier, it is best to keep it closed. Your cat probably won't be pleased that it has to stay in the carrier, but it's for its own good. Try to calm your cat down by exhibiting relaxed behaviors and talking to your cat. There are only a few instances in which you should open the cat carrier during transportation. As mentioned earlier, if you are traveling by car for an extended amount of time, you may consider scheduling stops to let your cat roam in the car. However, you should only do this if the ride is long enough and if you can make sure your cat is secure and can't slip away. Otherwise, you should keep the carrier shut. Always remember that cats are experts at escaping. Even if you think your cat is secure, it may find an opportunity to slip away. Do not give your cat any opportunities to run away. Number 7. Be patient. Since moving is such a stressful time for cats, it may lead them to lash out. Your cat may exhibit some anxious and destructive behaviors like scratching furniture, clawing, or meowing excessively. While it is important to acknowledge your cat's body language and emotions, understand that it is normal for cats to be stressed during the moving process. Some cats may handle it better than others, but moving is an anxiety-inducing time for routine-driven cats. Can you blame them? After all, moving is also an anxiety-inducing experience for people. You may be feeling stressed, tense, and anxious as well. However, try your best not to take it out on your feline friend. Even if your cat acts out more than usual, try to be patient. You will both adjust over time, so stick together during the transition period. Number 8. Deep Clean once you've arrived at your new home, the hard work isn't over yet. Cats have an excellent sense of smell. Chances are they will be able to pick up on the scents of the previous tenants and pets that lived in your new home. These smells will only make your cat more anxious as it will be on high alert for intruders. If possible, deep clean your new space before you move in. However, if you have to isolate your cat in a room while you deep clean the rest of the space, that is an option too. Clean the floors, the walls, the furniture, and appliances. Deep cleaning when moving into a new space is a good idea whether there is a cat involved or not, but it is even more important to ensure your cat's transition is as smooth as possible. By creating a clean slate of smells, you will help reduce your cat's anxiety as it navigates its new space. As a bonus tip, you can also try a cat pheromone diffuser plugin. It works by mimicking the natural feline reassuring messages, or pheromones, to make cats feel calm. Bellyway makes a highly rated and popular one. Number 9. Cat Proof the Space As you probably already know, cats are experts at getting into places where they shouldn't be. Cats can fit in small spaces and climb on tall structures. Once your cat gets more comfortable in your new home, it will likely be curious about its new surroundings. Your cat will explore and might get into some tricky spots. You should try your best to prevent your cat from getting stuck or potentially hurt by cat-proofing your new home. Look for possible escape routes. Make sure all doors and windows are secured and can't be opened by your cat. Secure furniture to the walls and floors, especially large pieces of furniture like bookshelves and tables. Make sure your cat is safe from electrical damage as well. Invest in cord protectors and secure cords and wires so your cat can't chew on them or get tangled up. Overall, make sure your space is comfortable and safe for your cat. Number 10. Designate a safe room. When you move in, don't let your cat roam the entire house. Instead, designate one room in the house as your cat's safe room. Immediately bring your cat to that room and shut it in. Bring your cat's bed, toys, food, and other supplies to that room. Allow your cat to get used to this new small space before you introduce it to the rest of the home. This will prevent your cat from getting too overwhelmed by new smells and sights. Additionally, this will ensure your cat is safe and secure during the moving process. Moving can be chaotic and lots of things and people are coming and going from the home. Doors can easily be left open and your cat may be able to run away. By keeping your cat in one room, you'll make your cat more comfortable while also giving yourself the peace of mind that your cat is safe. Once you've settled in, gradually introduce your cat to new rooms in the house. It is important not to rush this process. It could take around a week or so before your cat gains full access to the whole house. During these first few days, spend time with your cat and observe its behavior. Over time, you should notice your cat becomes less scared and more curious. If your cat is seemingly stressed and overwhelmed, give it space alone to calm down. It can get frustrating, but cats take a long time to adapt and feel comfortable in a new environment. Just be patient and let your cat take the lead. Moving is hectic and stressful for you and your cat, but by following these steps you can reduce the chaos and make the transition to your new home as smooth as it can be. Then you can get back to enjoying life with your cat in your new home. And now it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Hero. 
His guardian says, I found Hiro at a cafe in January of 2023, and he was so affectionate that I simply grabbed him and took him to the vet to join my existing family of four cats. He is such a lovable rascal. Hiro has this habit of sitting on his hind legs when he hears noises in the house. Congratulations, Hiro. Keep being possum. To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, have you moved with a cat before? If so, did any of these tips help? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.